Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here and welcome back to more Medieval 2 Total War, playing the Britannia campaign as Norway on very hard difficulty. It's a new day, it's a new session of Medieval 2, but I still haven't posted any of the videos that I've made yet, so I haven't gotten any feedback or anything of the sort. So we are feuding with Scotland right now and we have Inverness under siege. Whoops. But it's still going to take a little while to build everything that we want to build, so... We're going for two rams. I mean, one ram will probably be enough, but we can have a backup ram, a ladder and a siege tower. It should be enough to get us inside. Now, can I make something for the extra troops here? I almost can. Because if I could have those troops come in from behind... I mean, they are pretty disposable, so yeah. Let's have these troops attack from a different side of the castle. And, like, if everybody comes in with ladders... Yes! Alright, we'll do that. They're sort of dis uh, expendable, so it's fine. We're gonna move Haldor down and he's going to join up with one of the armies and we're gonna have a good time. Now, is there anything else we really had to do on this turn? Or are we okay ending it right here? We took back Aron, but now... Oh, we can... Yeah, we can move this boat a little bit. I would actually want to move a few troops back to Castletown to retrain them. Because this Leather Tanner is going to be done soon. The Leather Tanner won't do a lot for most of our troops, but... I want to replenish the numbers of like our Huskarls, our Sami Axemen, all of our good troops. They deserve it. So they're occupying some castles. That's fine. And they're moving their troops south. I should probably put up some more watchtowers in my area. I mean, I don't even have overview of what's going on in my own lands. And that's never a good thing. So once I've taken Inverness, I should be able to post some more watchtowers. Because you can't post on a watchtower in an area you don't own, obviously. They'll be like, hey, what are you doing over there? I'm like, I'm just posting a watchtower in enemy territory. Looks like Prince Magnus can adopt Inge of Esbjerg. He's a pretty loyal man. He hasn't really proven himself on the battlefield, but for sure. Welcome. They want me to take the rebel settlement over here. Is that what the council of nobles want from me? Okay. We are losing money and next turn we're gonna be in debt. Unless I cancel something I'm building. Or we take the castle. Taking a castle would provide us with some profits. There's a new baby. Frakok Håkonsson. Okay. Håkonsson, does this mean it's the actual son of Ma- No, it's not. Wait, is it? Oh, it's a girl. I knew, I knew it was a girl. Pfft. Okay, it's it's Prince Magnus's first daughter. Uh, when she comes of age, we can marry her away to a different alliance. Because that's how it was for girls. <laughs> yeah, I'll just marry you away as a power play. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. Now then, let's try to send our troops back down. We can reach Castletown. Oh, Inge is right here. Good, he can keep the fort uh, held. Now, the Viking Raiders will mostly be good. Let's move... I don't want to move away all of my troops. I'm going to move these troops out. And then we're going to set sail. And then I'm going to merge the units, just to make sure that I have enough to protect them. Yes. Now Snorri is still stuck down here. I mean... I could potentially be sneaky. Ah, oh, this is a really bad idea. But there are no men there. There are no men. If I can take them down here in the south, I can keep supplying them with troops from Castletown. That is a silly idea right there. People aren't awfully happy here. Oh, the culture is so Irish, we can get Irish troops. That's not good. A small church here would do wonders. Problem is, I can't afford it. Is there some building project somewhere I can cancel? I mean, Kirkwall's building an inn. An inn is not necessary. What if I... I, should, I need to raise the taxes somewhere. So I want to build... Oh, they already have a high tax rate here and they're not happy. Economically, ugh, it can wait. You guys are doing fine, but I can't increase the taxes without a riot, unfortunately. Okay, we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. We're not going to recruit a lot more troops. We already have a considerable army, because now we don't have the finances to keep up with it. 
I really wish that Holder would have gotten to the action in time. But unfortunately, yes. he won't make it. Holders, it's a shame, but it's how it is. Alright, it is time to attack Inverness. It's a proper castle this time. Extra wall defenses, reinforced gates, boiling oil. And we have to get through. Two rams, a ladder and a siege tower. Let's have our first proper assault. Alexander Stewart, you are outnumbered, but you do have the advantage of being the defender. Okay. How's your troop look? Highlanders, he has some mailed knights and some highland nobles. Now these guys you don't mess with, so let's be careful with those. Let's find a good strategy for getting in. Now, Captain Tororen comes with like four units, so I can pretty much control it myself, but if any troop exceeds your own little box down here, they will not be controllable by you. So since he does exceed my box, I'm gonna make him an AI. So he's gonna be attacking from a different side of the city with just ladders, and I'm hoping that he's going to distract Scotland enough. Because the more areas you attack from, yes, you spread your own troops thin, but they also have to spread troops to defend different points of the city. So it sort of pays off sometimes. They're on the other side of the city right now. Let's zoom on over here. Whoops. Look at this. Aha! So they are going to be besieging all the walls over here. And they're going to be climbing down and making their way towards the square. And now I need to prepare my own siege equipment. We're going to move it closer to the walls, because there's no point in traveling extra distance unless it's actually necessary. We'll have a ram here, then we'll have a backup ram right behind them. Because the enemy will be firing fire arrows, and they will try to put my siege equipment ablaze. And they can be successful. Then we're going to move a siege tower over here to attack the wall. And we'll put the ladders over here. Okay, that's all my siege equipment put up. Now, archers in a siege, I'm not extremely good at using them, because if you send them up to attack the people on the wall, the people on the wall will also be able to attack you, you know, if, you ha if they have archers. And they have the high ground, so... It's gonna be a bit difficult to use them properly until we get into the city. Now, let's set up the, uh, the cavalry troop here. We'll keep those in the back here, ready to ready to ride in if we need some backup. Other than that, we have a group of strong infantry that's going to do their best, and hopefully they are out of the line of fire. Okay, we're going to quickly start the battle and pause. Send Siege Tower there. Send the ram there, and then I'm going to send this ram up here, just so it's right behind it. Now, the more areas we attack at once, the more confused the Scots are going to be. So come on, we got the Sami Axemen with the Siege Tower on this side of town. The Viking Raiders will be bringing up the ram. And then the Huskarls will carry the ladder. Now once the Huskarls breach the walls, they should be able to easily take out the archers that are upon it. Here we go, Highland Archers. These guys won't stand a chance against the Huskarls. Now they're remobilizing their troops within. They got the Mailed Knights right around the corner. Possibly going to charge me. The Highland Nobles are right here. These are their strongest troop, maybe besides from the General's bodyguard. And we have Highlanders right here. Okay. So we got a little overview of the situation. And the General, Alexander Stewart, is right here. I believe that was his name. And then over here... Oh, gosh. Forgot to put him on the offensive, so they were just standing there. Letting themselves get hit. Honestly? Okay. I should have sent them... Oh, look at this. Okay, they, they failed. But at least they're keeping all of these men busy from the other side of town. Okay, well, we're about to reach the walls here. So we'll see how it goes. Keep moving up the ram. This is good. We're taking some casualties, but we're also keeping our other rams safe. We could probably drop this ram in not too long, but they do have oil that they dispense when they feel like it. Soon the enemy's defense men have reached the oh. walls. Okay, that's gonna fall pretty shortly, so I'm going to make them drop this. Then gather up right here, man. Go into guard mode as well. Because right now, they are going to rush out at me. As soon as this gate falls, which is gonna be pretty quickly. 
Go, 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 go. There we go. Because this troop right here, they need to put away their ram to be able to go in combat. There they come. Alright, drop the ram. Drop the rum, drop the rum. Okay. Go. Then we're going to ask them to move through and we'll fight back the Highlanders. Lord be praised indeed. So here we go. We're going to swarm up the ladders. Ha ha! They're going to fare us. So we're going to try to make our way inside because if we can take the gatehouse, they won't be able to dispense oil or arrows, meaning I can move up the rest of my troops. Up on the walls, the Huskarls have arrived. Oh, look at this. They have Highland pikemen, actually. They don't look like pikemen. They're using swords. So the Huskarls should have this side taken care of. What's going on over here, though? I've set them to aggressive, but they're not doing anything. They're just take. I you saw me click aggressive. I mean, my face cam's covering it, but I clearly did it. They're just really awful. I probably shouldn't even have included them in the battle, but they're keeping them busy. Okay, let's start marching up our troops now. Let's also send up our archers here. The Sami Axemen are waiting for this to go down so they can breach. It's going to be Sami Axemen versus Highland Archers. I'll give you three guesses as to who's going to win. The General's Bodyguard is right there, so if our Viking Raiders can fight their way through and capture the gatehouse, we'll be set. Now, I'm not going to send in my cavalry just yet, because if I begin to ride in the gate, they'll drop boiling oil on my general, most likely. We don't want that. How are the Huskarls up here doing? They're fighting their way through. It's just a little blobby right now. Highland Nobles. I hope they are not going to come from behind here, because they could trap me on the walls, but it doesn't look like they're going to. The General's Bodyguard is waiting right in here, though. So I wonder... Can I actually manage to... I should group these guys up. Send them through! Go through, through, through! They're shaken! Now, into the breach! They're probably gonna dispense oil. We're gonna have to deal with it! Just get inside! Get inside! It's now or never. Go, go, go! Ah, uh, the routing. Make... Come on, General. Make them come back. You can't run now! Oh gosh. The Viking Raiders were all by themselves. But now that they have some now that the rest of them have some backup, it should be fine. It was a bit too scary for them. They placed the general's bodyguard right there. Go in, go in, go in. Charge the general! Ignore the oil! It just stings a little. Get inside! Get inside! Actually, get inside and don't just stop in the door. There. We took the enemy walls. That's good. That means no more oil. Now I can begin to send in everybody. Alright, let's send up the archers too. How are the... Our men have slain the enemy general! That's amazing! We got the general that early? That's perfect. Oh, where did they send their, their archers? All right, move, move the men down. Move the Sami Axemen down off the walls. Dismounted are keeping them busy. The general is here. Okay, they're all retreating back to the town square. Okay, this is very good. Now let's just uh, let's just take it easy here, man. You know, let's don't don't rush in immediately. Just oh gosh, how do I even? Can't really. Who are here? Let's let me just move up my cavalry for now. I don't want to send them in too, too soon. Because I need everybody to be here at once. Because what I can do is that I can pelter them with some missiles for now. And then I can send in my infantry to take care of these mailed knights. Ma Alright, if you want to fight, let's fight. It's a little chaotic right now, but... Oh, they're sending some troops around. Highlanders, Huskarls, go for them. They're wavering already, so this should break them. Hopefully. Yeah, it broke them. This is very good. Now let's get this troop over here. Alright. Come over to the center, everybody who's not already here. Actually, you guys can keep fighting on the walls. You are doing a 
terrific job, but the rest of you need to get over to where the action's at right now. Oh, the Highland Nobles are charging, though. Let me get my general out of there. He's in the middle of the... of the heat. We don't want that. They're trying to surround me on different sides here. But it's not working out too well for them, because they're all routing. They're all very scared. Move, move, move. No shame in making sure the general is safe. These Highlanders are fighting to the death. Okay, good, good, good. Now, do they have any archers left? Who are here? The Highland Nobles. Alright. Let's send some of my cavalry over into the archers here to scare them. Now, we need to take care of all of these men. So, I have my archers all grouped up here, firing. Now, I have actually quite a lot of people not attacking. Alright. Do we send them in? I think we do. These Highland Nobles are getting restless. Let's move out my cavalry, because the Highland Nobles decided to actually charge now. Alright. Here we go, then. I'll keep one group behind, maybe, two. No, let's pull them back. And then... We'll get them. We have a lot of troops here. You guys gotta all... All work together, all at once. To make sure that they don't get spooked and they're like, Oh, we're gonna lose the battle, when it's like, No, you're definitely not gonna lose the battle. Go for the Highland Archers over here. They're causing me some pain. Now these Highland Nobles, you don't mess with them. So hopefully the Vikings are gonna be strong enough to take them. Sure, this guy knows what's up. He's gonna start attacking the midst of them. Alright, let's charge the cavalry back in now that the Highland Nobles are busy again. I just don't want to leave the cavalry in the middle of a lot of heavy infantry like the Highland Nobles. Oh, look at that, they've broken through! Yes, the AI has actually managed to break this wall, and now they're moving up on the center square. This is going very well. They have essentially... Oh, they have spare men, but they are broken. Okay. These dismounted Huskarls are exhausted, so we'll march them over. No need to sprint. The Viking Raiders coming in. I think these guys ran away earlier. Cowards. Then again, they were in the middle of combat for quite a while, so... I'm tempted to speed it up here, but let's just make sure everything's going well. We are taking care of the last archers over here. We have some Highlanders and Highland Nobles mixed in. Let me see, can I s Oh! Geller is bloodied. I'm gonna pull him out. Go, Geller. Just to make sure. There are like four of them left, though. And the rest of you are gonna charge. Take care of them. I need to keep at least one of each unit alive so I can retrain them. The pikemen are history. Now let's move all of the infantry up and I'm going to do... This. And now they are going to just swarm over the remaining troops. Excellent. And we can avoid the blob by blob combat. I'm gonna make all of my archers stop firing right now. Because I don't need them to. Go, 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 go. This should be it. Everything's looking good. General is safely at a distance. He got some combat experience. Let's send him in once more just to make sure that he's pleased with how he is treated. You get to fight gloriously in battle. Is it not amazing? Haha! -ha. Go! There we go. Alright, he lost all of his men. I lost 400 from my main troop and 100 from the backup troop. But the siege itself went quite fine. Went quite well, I must say. Some of our army is depleted, less upkeep. And this castle should be able to provide us with some sweet, sweet money money. I think we only have Castle Town as a castle, so that's good. Indeed. Sack it! Look at that. We're looking to make profit. Geller Voss, fierce in battle. Plus command when attacking, but minus command when defending. This man is beginning to frighten people just by his menacing presence. He is now also a veteran warrior. But does he feel appreciated? He still doesn't feel appreciated. Some say his troops follow him out of fear rather than loyalty or pride. Well, that's a grim sign. Let's get some dirt roads. Also a port. It's 
similar to land clearance, but you can like recruit. Oh yeah, we need it. We need a small chapel here as well. We're gonna get that first. But you can recruit boats and position boats, and it's gonna be pretty sweet. All right, here's uh, here's Holdor. Let's gather this army up. Now Holdor has a small force. Uh huh. Look down here. This Scottish fort has nothing, but this army has a few Highlanders in it, so we want to be careful with that. Oh yeah, our diplomat fleet. Where's that at? That is currently right here. Thorgar. Yes, I'm gonna send. Actually, I've done the whole move. Mr. Holder over, so now I can sail down. The reason I'm sailing like this instead of just clicking in the distance is that if I was to run into an enemy ship, I would get stuck. And I would have to either confront them or hope that they didn't attack me on their turn, so I'm just playing it safe. Now we're gonna move this army back down to Castletown, they're gonna have a little vacation. The next turn they're gonna be fine. Ooh, the village of Aron's doing fine. I could... Should, I'll, I'll increase the tax rate a little, but I want to keep the population growth, because when your population grows, you can upgrade the settlement later on. But we got to figure out where we want to strike. We have a little thing going on with Snorri here, but I'm unsure how it'll pan out, but... Right now, I believe we have made everything that I've been wanting to make. Well, there was something I wanted to build somewhere, wasn't it? Uh, yes, I wanted to build a small church on this island, so... Now I have the cash to do that. Ba 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 boom. So now our spy is going to keep a lookout on these Scottish troops that appear to be marching on me. Scotland's gonna have plenty of those smaller troops. So we should try to take them out while they're still weak. Luckily Scotland didn't decide to sail out for Arran there. I was worried they might take a big army and actually go for Arran, but they appear to be probably moving on the little rebel fort there. I'm a lot of place names I'm unsure how to pronounce, like Inverlochy. So a lot of the times I'll just say this town or this fort because I'm unsure of how to pronounce it. Some of them are easy, like Kirkwall. I know how to say that, but there are certain names where I get quite confused. But that's okay. Nobody hates you, Dark. Yes, they do. Okay. Are you done moving your little troopies around? Are you? Okay, they have a huge force there, so if I take the town that I'm gonna take, you might be in trouble. Betrothed, Ulrich can now marry Björg. Sure, have a great and splendid wedding, the two of you. Now. Oh. We're moving up in the world. Great. Got the inn, got the small church, got some dirt roads. And since we made an inn, we can now recruit our first assassin. So let's get him. Looking forward to that. It's gonna be sweet. Okay, Halder didn't get to prove himself in battle, but he looks quite promising. Now, Geller, I just... You're such a cruel, cruel man. Ah, <sighs> You might just have to... Might just have to deal with it. Now let's see if my plan's gonna work. Move them in here. Yay, retrain them. So I can retrain the Huskarls for 400 florins. What does recruiting them cost? Like 750, so yeah. It's... It definitely pays for itself. Oh my, it's quite expensive though. I didn't take the cost into consideration. But, but, we should be able to... Oh, gosh. It's gonna be a little pricey, but it might be worth yes. it as well. Now, this fort has quite the force in it, so if I take this town over here... I might feel it. Okay, I'm a bit... Oh, I'm a bit unsure now. I think I'm just gonna keep him down here in the forest for now. Maybe I'll back and off a little. Yeah. Let's just be careful. King Magnus wants to get out and about and fight. But we're going to wait a little bit and let our army replenish itself. Before we strike. Our money situation is not looking that great. So the more areas we can take, the better. We have to decide where to strike, what to take. I'm thinking we could move an army down and take this little rebel castle over here. And then we would be good. But that would also kind of leave us open for the Scottish to come marching. 
So I'm gonna move my spy over here to try and keep an eye on things, but... Oh, there's the capital. That's the place we want to take. But guys and girls, you have to tune in next time. And the adventure continues and we figure out where to strike. And of course, when our diplomat finally reaches Ireland. So, have a still good day, take care and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.